What's up, everybody? It's Eon Cure with a Mass Effect Andromeda news update. The following information comes from NeoGAF, through which a marketing survey of the highly anticipated title was leaked, giving us some interesting new information, starting with the synopsis, which reads as follows. Mass Effect Andromeda takes players to the Andromeda Galaxy, far beyond the Milky Way, where players will lead the fight for a new home in hostile territory, where we are the aliens, opposed by a deadly indigenous race bent on stopping us. Experience the freedom to traverse and explore a planet-dense but seamless open-world galaxy, rich with discovery. Play as the leader of a squad of military-trained explorers in an intense third-person shooter with deep progression and customization systems. This is the story of humanity's next chapter, and player choices throughout the game will ultimately determine our survival in the Andromeda Galaxy. I must say I find the premise really interesting. The original Mass Effect trilogy often dealt with humanity protecting their own world from invaders, especially Mass Effect 3, but with Mass Effect Andromeda, it looks like the tables have turned and it is humanity who will be doing the invading. It looks like this time, we will be the alien race searching for and invading a new planet to call home, encountering and confronting a deadly indigenous race along the way. It's a very interesting setup that should pave the way for some very compelling political, ideological, and moral dilemmas. Also exciting from the excerpt is what seems to be confirmation that Mass Effect Andromeda will feature a seamless open-world galaxy, rich with discovery. Now, I often find that developers use the word seamless rather loosely, but general consensus is that a seamless open world is one that hides its loading time so well that players never feel like they are pulled out of their character and from the overall game. So if Bioware aims to claim that Mass Effect Andromeda's galaxy is seamless, it means that interstellar travel from system to system or from planet to planet must happen while the player maintains control of their character. No fade-outs, no obvious loading screens, nothing. I also believe the same must apply for when players enter or exit a planet. A perfect example of what I'm talking about is No Man's Sky. If Bioware can pull off something similar with Mass Effect Andromeda, I'll be one happy gamer. And I do in fact believe that they will. If you watch Mass Effect Andromeda's E3 2015 trailer, you will see seamless intergalactic travel in action. Granted, this isn't actual in-game footage, but trailers like these often serve as proof of concept for gameplay. And based on this trailer, it is my belief that players will seamlessly choose a planet they want to travel to through the ship's interface, and then the ship will warp speed travel to the chosen world right in front of players without any obvious loading or transition. Obviously, players won't be manually controlling the ship like in No Man's Sky. The ship in Mass Effect Andromeda will likely have a set course during interstellar travel. But if you ask me, it's good enough, as long as it all happens seamlessly. Hopefully, a similar seamless transition will be applied to when players enter planet's atmosphere and exit them as well. Fingers crossed. Finally for this excerpt, a few other confirmed features include squad-based third-person shooting, so once again expect to bring one or two other companions to fight alongside you, deep progression and customization systems, and the return of player choices that will affect the overall outcome of the story. Hopefully with Andromeda, progression and customization will be more like Mass Effect 1 with its deep and expansive systems, and less like the streamlined Mass Effect 2 and 3. I also hope that player choice will actually end up having significance rather than bogging down to choosing a color. Looking at you, Mass Effect 3. Moving on, in another page of the survey, a second excerpt can be found stating the following. There is a major battle brewing, and it awaits you. It is unfolding across a galaxy of planets, with creatures and species entirely unknown. Draw your weapon, because the fight is bigger than you thought. It's not just for your own life, it's for all of humanity. The ultimate battle for a place we can call home. It wouldn't be Mass Effect without epic battles, and that's exactly what this quote promises. Whether these battles will stem solely from war caused by humanity's invasion of habited planets and search of a new home, or whether there are larger pieces at play similar to the Reapers from the original trilogy is yet to be determined, but I'm sure we'll find out as Mass Effect Andromeda's release approaches. Now, it's important to note that this second excerpt is for, quote, a possible future version of Mass Effect, according to the survey. Unlike with the first excerpt, they don't actually say this is for Andromeda. 
Just something to keep in mind in case this is for something else, but considering the similarities between this final sentence and the synopsis from the first excerpt, I'm going to assume that the second excerpt was also meant for Andromeda. Finally, I would like to take a look at this last page from the survey, where it asks participants to rate their impressions on things that the second excerpt conveys about the game. While there is not a lot of information here, we can get an idea for what kinds of things BioWare is aiming to excel at with Andromeda. This survey makes it clear that BioWare wants to make a game that is an overall immersive experience featuring cinematic quality graphics, a game that will offer the right amount of challenge, although the game will likely offer difficulty options like in past games, a game with gameplay that will keep players' attention, a given for any game, a game with a deep system for character growth, a staple of Mass Effect, and any RPG for that matter. A game with a world featuring a wide variety of activities to accomplish, so side quests and the like. A game that will make the player feel like an explorer, a vital part of Mass Effect. A Mass Effect game that even non-Mass Effect players will be able to pick up and play, which again goes back to difficulty options. A game that will make the player feel like a hero, with the ability to be the occasional dick, I'm assuming. A game with the right amount of combat. And finally, a game with plenty of space to explore, so volume. Nothing one wouldn't expect from a Mass Effect game, but it's good to know that BioWare is thinking about all these things. The question now is whether they can pull it off. Can they make the best and most ambitious Mass Effect yet? It sure sounds like Andromeda could be, but we'll have to wait until the game finally launches and see for ourselves. So with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about the information revealed in this Bioware marketing survey. And to be further updated on Mass Effect Andromeda, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.